Uh, what was your family's reaction? Um, how long do you think your Twitter bans you? <laughs> when are you coming back to TikTok? And are any of your viewers from TikTok following you? If you could chat for one hour with anyone past or present, who would it be? The first person that came into my mind was Tommy Robinson. But let me think of someone else because I don't, he's not particularly relevant anymore. <laughs> okay, if the car Aman Shahab. I've definitely butchered your name. My apologies. How hard is it to follow Islam while living in a non-Muslim majority country? Ooh, I think it probably depends on the country you're in. You can imagine Muslims living in France at the moment. You'd probably be looking at packing your bags. In England, you can practice Islam in England. Um, and there's not really many things that stop you now. Are there challenges? Definitely. You know, when I went to Medina, every, all the shops close at prayer time. And you, you're, not, you're not looking at your watch thinking, you know, what, what, what time's Isha? But for, for me, this is my country. And, um, and and, you know, if, if we all left, how would we do Dawah? But look, I, I do get the idea that it's definitely an attractive thought of mine would be to go to a Muslim country and, and live. It definitely would be. Um, and who knows one day. But I think currently, uh, I feel like I have some work to do here, you know. And that's not, you know, converting everybody and stuff like that. It's just a lot of um, the stuff I do, even if it's just making non-Muslims realize that Islam isn't what this media has told it is, um, it can be an effort. All right. Do you miss TikTok's haters? Uh, no. No, <laughs> but uh, if you're not getting haters, you're not doing anything right. And to be honest, I'm I'm wearing my TikTok ban as a badge of badge of honor. To be honest, what is your favorite mosque in London? It's got to be Regent's Park, um, Central London Mosque. Yeah, we did a reverse day out there. I, I do like East London Mosque as well, though. You know, you can hear the Azan. And, but you know what? Out of all of these, I'm going to say Iman Foundation. Uh, this is kind of where I did my first Juma. It's where I was introduced to people. When I go there, I feel really at home. A lot, many of the people know who I am, and I go in and have coffee afterwards so man foundation is, is my favorite one in east london i guess visually it has to be regent's park comparison of life before islam and now like how much difference has it made to your life yeah i mean i was like on a path doing okay you know um in in my relationship in my career in my I, I was all right you know but that was obviously you know without god in my life and th there are things you do pre-shahada that still affect you after shahada you know there's still things i did in terms of messing up my relationship and uh, and other stuff even though you know that you know what your shahada you're sort of wiped clean uh, you, you still feel for the things that you've done in your past um and to be honest even after my shahada it's not like you're suddenly the perfect person but do you know what my life since apart from relationship wise everything's gone really well almost too well you know way that you kind of think there must be a challenge coming because things that i'm losing are being replaced do you intend to activate your account on twitter i find you idle here even though it's a platform geared towards important segment i don't understand twitter you know um i don't get it like it just seems a place to moan. Um, I want to do Dawa. I don't know, but, but look, it's early days, and I don't get it. You know, even on here, the tweets they go into one, and it's not it's not user friendly. But I'm gonna try. You know, I'm gonna keep going. I think Smarter Jana recommended it as sort of following trends and stuff like that. So, um, what's a good way to contribute to the Uyghur crisis as a 14 year old? Mashallah, nice to hear. And that is from Phoenix Fire. Nice question. I would say change your logo on YouTube. Create awareness. Don't get yourself into trouble. There will be protests. There will be other things. As a 14 year old you don't need to be involved in those you're reminding people not letting this be ignored Mukit, um how long do you think your twitter bans you <laughs> i'm not posted enough to be banned but i'm sure you know my my content is as you all know is very moderate you know the dave and jeff and they were getting banned and i'm i don't know what it is to be honest i don't know what it is okay janaid aslam says what do the born muslim community need to help reverts and what do we get wrong okay first thing i'm going to say is what you get right reverts are welcomed into the community very well as you as you can see online as you you know the support i get um, the support i've got since i've come in um now there is a, an element of you know i've spoken to other reverts maybe of of different ethnicity that hasn't had the experience i've done that's a different topic i think generally muslims are well they've always got good intentions they like to see someone embracing their religion so i think firstly that has to be said that, that muslims are born muslims are very very welcoming and good at, at that but what, what could you do um i think certainly don't push your culture onto people uh, many things you do are going to be cultural and, and also point them towards people knowledge on on things like whether they're doing something haram in their life could be work relationship whatever it is that because you know just having harsh you know black and white um rules and look, i'm not saying making things halal that's certainly not the case you always explain it but sometimes a, a revert isn't going to fix overnight you know you keep them on their prayers keep them connected with allah and they'll they'll work it out you know you don't have to be on day one right uh benikra are you muslim <laughs> 
Alhamdulillah, Muslim. Thanks for that question, Ben. I'm a Muslim. Okay, EFD says, how can we change people's misconceptions about religion? First and foremost is the way you behave. You know, people's misconceptions of a Muslim, if you're harsh, if you're loud, if you're aggressive, that you're going to fit right into their narrative. Number one way is how we behave, I would say. Uh, what was your family's reaction? My mum had already dealt with it from my uh, my sister, so it wasn't a, a, an overwhelming, it wasn't an overwhelming thing my mum had to deal with. Okay, Queen M. What was cool when you were young but isn't cool now? Gaming. What goal do you think humanity is not focused on enough in achieving? I don't know if it answers, this answers the question completely, but for me, like Yemen, you know, 24 million people in starvation. I mean, before we think of, I mean, there are climate change, there are really serious issues, but the fact that we have human beings that don't get their next meal in this day and age with this amount of money and stuff on the planet, it's unbelievable, you know? And um, you just wonder how as, what has humanity come to when we just don't do anything about it? Forget what's happened politically in that, in that part of the world. Feed those people, like, don't, you know, but... Okay, there's a third question. If you could chat for one hour with anyone past or present, who would it be? So past, let's say Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Present... Do you know what the, the the first person that came into my mind was Tommy Robinson? Yeah, I, I think he needs to be told a few things, and maybe coming from someone who's also British. I mean, he may seem as a traitor anyway. But let me think of someone else because I don't. He's not particularly relevant anymore. <laughs> Macron. Let's get Macron in a room. Do you think Muslims in the West should seriously think about migrating to Muslim countries? I do think that. I do think that. Like, like for, for me, I'm involved in Dawah and, I, and at the moment it's not in my mind. But I, I do think um, Hijra and, you know, having your kids growing up in a, in a Muslim society, it, it's a safer way, you know. Um, I understand that. When are you coming back to TikTok and are any of your viewers from TikTok following you? I don't know. <laughs> I, I think some people have come over. Uh, yeah, the TikTok thing was interesting. Look, I, it, my TikTok blew up fairly quickly. I had like 60,000 um, followers uh, within a couple of months. And I was surprised how popular it was. And so, yeah, I, I definitely embraced it. And I, I quite enjoyed putting out regular content. And, and it seemed that it was like, wow, I can really actually build a voice here. But I'm not going back to build up just to be banned by by, by that lot. So, yeah, I, I think there are other ways, you know. If, if, that, if that was the only way, sure, I'd go back and build again. But maybe there's more the, the YouTube. And I thought Instagram, and I may go back to Instagram. I just, I think I've just got a couple of videos banned. I was like, I just got banned from TikTok. I went to there. I thought, maybe I'm getting mass reported. Maybe I just need to let it cool down a bit. Random question, how tall are you? Six foot two. I'm six foot two. So I think that is, that's the majority of the questions. If I did miss your questions, I apologize. And I may do another one of these. Let me know in the comments if you, if, if you found this interesting at all. Uh, I like the fact that obviously the comments were guided by you. And look, I have some plans for this uh, for this channel. I really need to get my uh, editing stuff and learning how to use stuff. And I want to do some videos on the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And I've got some other ideas too. But Zakla care for, for everyone who has supported the channel. Um, and make sure you look check out the channels that I'm affiliated to, the EF Dowers, the Ben Ikras, the Hamza's Dens, the, the Come to Success, the Pondering Souls. Lots of channels um, support everybody. Um, you know, For me, it's Donate to Yemen. Uh, some of the other guys, are going full time so it's it's trying to support them via membership or patron and you know we've got to keep the DAO going if, if if you look at for me if you look at what the DAO has achieved over the last couple of years and you look at how we've come online and built platforms and the live streams are booming it's really exciting and I feel like you know we have the ability to do fundraisers raise a hell of a lot of money we have the ability to have an impact whether it's with the Uyghurs we're building a voice and also just purely getting the message and it's the Muslim platforms that, that are the bigger ones you know the hater platforms don't appear appear to be growing as well. Mashallah, may it long, may it continue. Asalaamu Alaikum.